Yo, what up, though? We back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so unprofessional. I'm going to remain unprofessional. Hey, yo, cameraman, is my swagger right? Like, is my collar looking well? Your swagger is on, like... Hey, bro, first of all, you have on a bacon this, neck t-shirt. A bacon neck? Oh, man, And then you got a gay tiger on the hoodie. This is a Don't El Revere to, exclusive. I'm, 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 I'm rocking with El Revere, but the L stands for Liger. Liger Revere. Like, what's going on? Yo, you, yo, you see Don't the Toshi up in Foot Locker, right? I know, uh, that shit up in Cedar Brook. Yeah. Congrats, you man. Through there. Congrats to El Revere, all the endeavors. I'm coming through there, but I'm still shopping at the loft. I don't shop at Foot Locker, B. I need all my shit exclusive. I still got a feeling she gonna cut us off once she can blow up. Nah, I think that when she blow up, we gonna get some new shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for it, though. I don't want it for free. Give me the white people shit for free. Yo, is my, is my bacon that still in the shot? First of all, I mean, you got lint balls on your hoodie. Like, right? it's, it's just all it's just all a dub for you, bro. You should just uh not do the show and let me do the show and you just get your life together. Look, you the one with thigh meat showing up here. Your pocket is outside your pants. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, what kind of shit is that? That is not fashion. When you got big racks, it busts through your, but busts through your jeans. Free my nigga Kells on that scrape charge. <laughs> All right, man. So your bull's locked up again. Free my nigga Kells on that scrape charge. Free the real. What's the scrape charge? Keep the fake. Can you elaborate? If you don't know, then you don't know. And if you know, then you know. I know that nigga finally in jail. Man, that shit light. My nigga gonna beat that shit, bro. You know what I mean? My man Kells, man. They got my man Kells book. Everybody working the game. What happened Kells. to that not guilty video? Just not the, guilty. I'm saying the, listen, man, this album that he gonna put out when he spank this one, <laughs> this shit gonna go diamond. You know what I mean? So they said he, he ain't got the hundred thousand to get out of jail. Yeah, they probably froze his accounts, man. They thought he was a flight risk, man. They mm. probably froze this shit up. This the shit, this the shit that fucks me up. Now all you bitches ain't rocking with R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden he's a monster. And a pedophile, like I, 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 you know, I'm torn. I'm torn with that shit because it's like, nigga, when I was 15, it was just normal for a 27 year old nigga to fuck a high school girl. Wasn't right. I mean, she, listen, man, she was old enough to make choices. I hate to say it like that, but if she was 17 well, years not old, technically, yeah, yeah, if she was 17 years old. She was fucking. You just went. We went to from 15 to 17. You just said 15. Did I say 15? I didn't say 15. I said it was normal for a 27 year old to be fucking high school girls. Mm. See, you thinking 15. You got your mind in the gutter. Me, I'm thinking seven, I'm thinking juniors. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I, I'm just thinking anybody in eight. I think Kel, I think Kel's, I mean, he playing a dirty game. You 40 years old fucking with 14 year old girls. Like, it's nothing a 14 year old girl can do for me. Like, first of all, they stink. Like fourteen year old girls stink. I mean, like when I was fourteen, I don't remember the other because because girls because stink. because when we was young, them <laughs> dumbass raspberry fruity smells. You know what I mean? They hands. No, they had, that's when Bath and Body Works started popping off. So they, so they was I mean, extra extra. Fragrance. Yeah, but it was all fruited up. Like you know what I mean? Like nowadays, as a grown man, that fruity <laughs> shit be like, yo, this bitch pussy stink. You know what I'm saying? She like you meet, you up. meet, yeah, you meet a chick. She smell like blackberry lotus. You're like, God damn, bitch, what the fuck is this goofy shit you wearing? You know what I'm saying? But when we was young, fourteen year old bitch smell like they be like, yo, that bitch smell good. Every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nigga, you 40 years old. It's nothing a 14 year old girl can do for you. It's n- how does she satisfy you? She stink. She built like a little fucking boy. She can't have no conversation with you. What the fuck do you talk about? You call her up, she's talking about Daddy Shark. What the fuck are we talking about? Like, R. R Kelly's sick for that shit. But in the same token, how many parents motherfucking threw their young daughters to the wolves for a paycheck? Enough. You know what I mean? Like, you seen a video in 2001 that he pissed on a 14-year-old girl. You allowing him to come to your house and pick up your 17-year-old daughter. You know she's coming back smelling like urine. It don't make no sense. It don't make no fucking sense. So she left smelling like blackberry. She left smelling like motherfucking (laughs) Bath and Body Wash Cranberry Surprise. 
and now she's back smelling like Budweiser urine. I mean, I just think, you know, a lot of people are saying, like, it's old stuff, and, you know, he shouldn't be prosecuted for it. The people's parents led the girls there. But my whole thing is, at the end of the day, it's like Bill Cosby. Karma's a motherfucker. Sooner or later, everything going to come back. Karma ain't get Bill Cosby caught up. Bill Cosby got caught up because he was about to buy NBC. And the motherfucking devils was like, no, nigga. You about to buy yourself an 8 by 10 in the state penitentiary. And I'm also tired of, you know, I'm tired of hearing black people, every time a black person get caught doing something, they were like, well, white people get away with it. Yeah, what the fuck we talking about? You trying to lock R. Kelly up for 30 years for fucking some young bitches, but a motherfucking cop killed a nigga in broad day in front of his kid and walked off. Well, that's, that's apples and oranges. No, it's not apples and oranges. It's motherfucking egregious acts, crimes against humanity, nigga. But I'm just saying, there's no excuse. Just because other people get away with the shit. It is an excuse, because I'm tired of seeing the jails be... 75% black. And let me be clear with my statistic. Not 75% of black people are incarcer- incarcerated, but the jail is 75% or higher of black men. It's disproportioned. The, dis- the disproportionality of the whole uh, justice system is what I am uh, against. Like, what the fuck? Like, you locking us up for every infraction. The nigga had bitches tied to the desk with a buzzer door and was fucking bitches. Wasn't, she wasn't tied to the desk. Was she there against her will? Did no. the door lock when she walked in? He locked the door, but I think... Well, yeah, she was you there. Go. There she you was go. there on her own accord. So was the 14-year-old. He just didn't... Well, a 14-year-old, in the eyes of the law, does not have the ability to make those decisions. How? Pocahontas was 14. She got married and saw the wolf cry at the full corn moon. The full corn moon? I never heard this story. You never watched Pocahontas, motherfucker. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Motherfucking Vanessa Williams sung the song from Pocahontas. I don't believe any of them stories are true anyway. That is true. Pocahontas was 14 and she fell in love with a colonizer. You really think she fell in love? Yeah, I do. He took her back to England and they and married her. And she was like a high. She was like I don't a matriarch. Out the there. colonizers did were good. I mean, I don't believe the the colonizers coming after the black man is good. Motherfucking free R. Kelly on that scrape charge. Nah, fuck R. Kelly. Lock that nigga. Okay. That nigga, that nigga will be singing in jail. What? How does that help our culture if he's locked up? It don't help my culture if that's the it. nigga's out. It does help us if he's out. What? That's, what? Nigga that, sing? That, Cause that's just one less of our icons dead or in jail. Nigga, icon, icon for what? Cause I, he can sing, nigga? Yeah, he made, I believe, let me, I, bro, I believe I can he fly. Wrote the soundtrack, that was inspirational. He wrote the soundtrack to our childhood. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Well, I, when I was 14 years old, I was running up on bitches. Talking about summer mind, bunnies no. drive me crazy. Nah, I was running, my mom was telling me no. But that's my that body. nasty shit he was talking about. That's what I'm talking about. But, but you ain't know he was talking about underage I, girls. I, at that time, I was underage, so it all <laughs> fell in line with what we was talking about. If he was singing that shit to 14-year-old girls back then, I was singing it to 14-year-old girls, too. Man. Just so happened I was only 15. Fuck that shit. Fuck that Listen, shit. man, free R. Kelly on that scrap charge. If you're going to lock R. Kelly up, you better go lock up all the archdiocese and the motherfucking priest that's out here touching boys in the culo and sucking their dicks. So, this motherfucker gotta be the dumbest nigga in the history of dumb niggas. Well, his name's Jussie. Number one, his what name's Jussie. What the fuck Jussie. is a Jussie? Is it short for justice? I don't know, but it's he, like somebody... Justice about to get served. <laughs> it's like your name should be Jesse, but somebody... His name should be, I'm a fucking nut. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, uh, so first off, you, get the two you black texted niggas. niggas. You texted niggas to bring you Molly. Two niggas that don't even look like they sell dope. Yo, can you bring me Molly? Right? Then you text them again. Yo, I might need your help on the low. <laughs> and if I'm serving you, if I'm selling you Molly, I'm like, oh, gay boy. What you mean on the low? What the fuck's going on? No, no, I'm not helping you with that. And then you go to him and say, 
I need y'all niggas to fuck me up and say this is MAGA country. My my thing is, how can you get some light skinned people? Like he got the two dark. Niggas. He went and got Ada B C <laughs> and motherfucking Stringer Bell to beat him the fuck up. Talk about his MAGA country. I just how did how did you think that was gonna work out for you? I don't know. But he in Hollywood. He don't know no white people. No, not nobody that's gonna fuck him up and pretend to be racist. They probably fuck him up and really be racist. You know what I'm saying? Well, and then, some people that's and fuck then, and be racist. These motherfuckers is from Nigeria. So, of course, when everything go down, them motherfuckers ain't going to jail for your nut ass. Them niggas get to singing like Millie Vanilli. They ain't going to deport us. For the- yeah, yeah. They get in there and get to singing and told the whole plot. My favorite part is he paid him with a check. Yeah. He's <laughs> a fucking goofball, man. Yo, and he yo. deserve everything he get. Roof his ass. Yo, my favorite part is they got so much evidence. They went to the guys, the uh, the two brothers went to their house. They got mm-hmm. the masks, mm-hmm. the hats, mm-hmm. the gloves, the text the news, messages, the, the rope. <laughs> like, yeah, all that shit. And that nigga in custody. They dropped them from they dropped them from Empire. So no more so no more of your gay love songs. We're supposed to be laughing at his stupid lie. Not his homosexuality. I'm not laughing at his homosexuality. I'm laughing at his stupid lie and he's a homosexual. So it's like a mixture. It's like a combination, like a combo platter. When you get General Souls and the fried rice. What? Yeah, it's a combination platter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker, man. <laughs> I hate that nigga, dog. I hate him. Not because he gay. Just because he the dumbest nigga alive during Black History Month. Like, this shit will always... <laughs> He could have did that shit in March. He should have did that shit in March. <laughs> nigga, this shit crazy. You fucking dupe your own people during Black History Month. And got caught. And you know what Chicago did? They had the black police officer. Yo, he the only black police officer in the whole Read room. your charges on national TV. And TV, and she was like, this nigga... Had text messages that said, Bring me Molly. Huh? Who the fuck keeps text messages to the fucking drug man? Yo, I'm coming through to get three bricks. Do people send texts to the drug man? Fifth. I'm just saying that wouldn't be smart. Fifth. There was a lot of people talking about. Ain't no paperwork on Takashi. No, it's paperwork on Takashi. You're a fucking rat. <laughs> so we have the paperwork on Takashi. It was released. He's a rat. Well, we knew he was going rat. When you got purple hair and you go around dummy, yeah, you're going rat. It actually says on page, what's this, page five? On page five. Mm-hmm. The government has represented that Mr. Hernandez is cooperating against multiple violent people associated with, with the, the s- with bus. the same criminal enterprise of which he admits or will soon apparently admit being a member. The government has represented that several of the individuals have yet to be charged. Uh, uh, he is going to rat. Oh, he's ratted already. <laughs> You know, on, yo, I, it just fucks me up. It fucks me up, like, because, first of all, you fucking Mexican. And, <laughs> and I mean, and Mexicans ain't supposed to be in no black gangs. And then on top of that, like, if black people join the Mexican gangs and you get the ratting, they gonna fucking kill you. Can you, you let join a, the Mexican gangs? Yo, you can't even really join the Mexican gang. I'm like, oh, you're a nigger. They just use you until they, they feel like killing you. They just use you and then you die. <laughs> but no, I, these Dickie and Brooklyn niggas, yeah, Takashi, you smell rat. <laughs> we start talking about rats in the game. As soon as we start out. talking about rats, that nigga like, where's the rat? Where's the rat? Where's you the say rat? rat? Somebody say did you, rat. Did you say rat? He over there. Go get him. There we go. <laughs> and motherfucking... I just knew he was going rat. He like a, a fucking snake in the grass, stupid ass Puerto Rican man, fucking Mexican man. He just he, he embarrassed two cultures at one time. 
the Mexican culture and the black culture. Sad, man. It's a sad day in gang banging. <laughs> it's a sad day for Brooklyn niggas. Like, the last couple rap niggas to come out of Brooklyn is rats. Troy Ave, and now Takashi. Y'all, y'all fucking rats. I mean, the sad part, it's been multiple people that have come out and be like, well, if I was rich, I'm gonna tell you, I like, would I mean, what else you gonna do? Sit, do <laughs> your time, be a man, cuff your nuts. Like, yeah, everybody make the excuse they was fucking his baby mom, they kidnapped him, they kidnapped his mother, extorting him they for money. They did a lot of shit to him. But guess what? Guess what? Guess, guess, guess what he did to them? Nigga, he running his fucking mouth on rap records. They hop off the plane in L.A. Motherfuckers jump out of the cab and start punching on these niggas. And you, they had to think that they was pussies because it was six of them coming out the airport. And it was two How people. getting a fight at the airport, though? Yeah. And two people just hopped out the car like, Takashi a pussy. And, and just <laughs> ran down. You know what I'm saying? Like, never in my life have I ever thought, like, it's me and my man. And it's eight of them. And they that just that pussy that we going to run up on them and crack somebody. Like, well, that did happen. But, just, but the nigga hopped out the car and was like, oh, that's fucking Takashi. What's up now, nigga? And, and got the hooking. And they, and they didn't get beat my up. My question is, are West Coast airports different than East Coast airports? Because I've never heard of someone who has a criminal record, mm-hmm. has warrants out for him, like, yo, we're going to go get him and we're going to go to the airport. I mean, if you if you if you got off your flight at Philly International and you was walking out the airport and somebody caught you, as the, more security. Go, I mean, no, by the time security get there, somebody done got their ass bust. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like Takashi did a lot of shit that put them niggas in harm's way. What about that goofy shit he did in Chicago? You riding around niggas' neighborhoods talking about these niggas pussy, these niggas pussy. You pay your man. A certain amount of money to shoot at Chief Keith in and downtown rat. Manhattan. <laughs> you rat on the and dude you paid. Rat on him. <laughs> like you know, the shit just crazy, man. The shit just crazy. Like I, I just think everything negative that come to Takashi for all this rat and shit, whatever comes out of it, he deserve it, bro. Fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah, free my nigga Rob off that fucking scrape charge. You know what I mean? My boy not human trafficking, man. Mm -hmm. I'm down with Bob Kraft, man. Listen, bro. You win (laughs) championships, you get massages and chewies. I mean, I don't got much to say because I'm not upset. I'm not upset neither. But here you go with all these feminists (laughs) and all of a sudden you care about women rights shit. Oh, he a raper. He down with human trafficking. Throw the book at him. Bitch, if these is grown women who want to get some of these billions from Kraft so they suck in dick. Where's the harm so in the foul? Where's the harm in the foul? Just say having sex. No, because I'm, if I'm Robert Kraft, I got that money, I'm not putting my penis in you, you fucking dirt trail rascal. I'm going to get a fucking Chewy. <laughs> what the fuck I look like fucking Tatiana? I got billions. She fucking around... Take the nut out the condom, put it in a vagina, and get pregnant. No, baby. No, baby. Saliva kills sperm. You got to get all this. It's it's a lot of women mm-hmm. that are forced into sexual labor. Not those women. I'm, I'm trying to play devil's advocate. You, you can know? play devil's advocate all the motherfucker you want. But <laughs> I want to say that my boy Bob Kraft motherfucking is a part of a whole network of whores that fuck billionaires for money. And all my nigga do is go from city to city checking, yo, where the hoes at? Pull up, spend that 1500 get a Chewy, might get his ass licked, get his feet licked, get a back massage, roll out. Where the ass licking come from? Yo, them older niggas being like real goofy shit, man. Is that the goofy shit you be up to? What the fuck are you talking about on this fucking camera? I'm just saying, you don't want to bring it up. Some weird shit you into, man. <laughs> I'm about to quit this fucking shit. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. That's what happens when you start hanging out with Meek Mill. Yeah, I mean, Meek Mill brings a different type of heat to you, man. 
You know what I mean? You was winning championships before you was fucking all the whores. You didn't have to worry about me. Next thing you know, you bring this loud ass nigga into the sucky sucky parlor. This motherfucker is there performing the intro. Hold on, wait a minute. The motherfucking bitch is like, oh shit, it's me, man. Start motherfucking. They didn't even know who Robert was. They, yeah, yeah, of course they do. Who's this shriveled up white motherfucker with all this money? No, we don't know him, but we know this nigga. And next thing you know, shit get hot. Now niggas getting booked. We don't have yeah, to explain somebody nothing. Somebody said that I like having nine-inch dildos in my ass. Was it true? The they person had. No, was it true, guys? So why is it on the it internet? Keeps going. And you know what? And you know what Gia said when she came up here. Gia was like, "That's a lie. It's not nine and a half. It's ten. My wife like, was joking. Uh, I don't wife know if she was joking or not. My wife or not. plays. My wife Look, plays. You <laughs> freaky. Look, That's freaky. Wanted scrap on and ass eat. <laughs> Yes. You a nasty nigga, homie. Yeah, I was, I was saying. You was a, that's some freaky shit, son. Damn, son. You, you got him on lip service yet? Look what Listen, he told Michael. Scared. Look, this the envy. Why he at Michael Black's in that? But the dildo, though. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> envy, you, know you a freak. You know what? I, My I, nigga, I, you I, a freak. I would tell you, I am a freak, but I don't so you, do I, So you ain't get the finger or nothing in there? A finger? My wife has put a finger, yes, absolutely. Oh. Okay, here you go. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Use a, a little finger. You don't see, you don't a little finger. That's the no, that's a four. That's the four. You going too far. You going too far. A little finger around. Right you like a finger? I don't like it. Oh, but oh, has it happened before? Yes, but I don't like it. Oh, no, come on. Do, do, do. I'm not requesting yes, it. I ain't laying on my stomach, took my ass up. He jerks up on his knees. Yes, you do. Uh, uh, First of all, why, why is that weird? That is weird. Nobody that is up on weird. Why are y'all snitching yes. on each other up here? Yo, yo, yo. Why are y'all snitching on each other? Do you put your, your finger in your man butt? Hell no. Absolutely, 100%. I've never done that. You are too... You don't eat the booty, though, so it's just different. I'm so... not putting my finger in nobody. So you don't butt. eat the booty either? No, I don't. I don't like that. You know what? I, I think I'm more about it. I mean, I think, you know, they're both married. I think they need to keep some stuff in the bedroom. First of all, bro, <laughs> like you got a chick fingering you in the ass? What the fuck is going on? I don't know, it's 2019. That don't mean you get fingered in the ass. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Yo, this shit crazy. I'm cool off that breakfast club shit. <laughs> That's the, like get fingered in the ass, bro. <laughs> Why he say just a little bit? <laughs> you got MVP we got a little finger in there. And the nigga Charlemagne like, yeah, the shit happened before. That don't mean I liked it. <laughs> Bro. Whoa. What the fuck's going on? Yo, them niggas gay, bro. If you get a finger in your ass, you gay, bro. And let's just say there's nothing wrong with being gay. If that you choose to, for that to be your lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. All right, but just be gay. You got to have control of something. Like, where you just... <laughs> What the, I just want to know how, like, how she fingering you in the ass. Like, is you laying on your back with your legs in the air and she like licking gooch and fingering you almost like you got a pussy? Or like is you like on your, or arched your ass up and she like fingering you in the ass and sucking your dick from the back? Like all of that is gay. Which is nothing wrong with. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, I, you know, I don't want to see this shit I don't even want to be a part of it, but I'm just saying, like, you a grown-ass man with your ass arched, and she, like, fingering you in the ass and licking balls and chewing you from the back. You a, you gay as shit. You know what I mean? Or you laying with your legs, like, spread eagle, and she just, get the fuck out of here. You know what, now that I rethink this, I think this one of the... Subject, we just need to just cut it. Yo, <laughs> this is, this no is, is fucking gay <laughs> shit. It is no masculine <laughs> way to get fingered in the ass. Like, there's no <laughs> way to make that shit sound like it's like some hard body shit. Like, yeah, son. Word is born, son. Word to the God, son. Cross my belly, B. She rolled me over. Yo, son. <laughs> word of born, I rolled over on my stomach, son. <laughs> And she started fingering me in the ass and sucking on my neck. Let's see what you think about this.
I'm back, bitch. Oh, shit. See how you're looking like fucking Kimbo Slice. She, she's a nice bitch. She's nice. Oh, I'm going to leave. 315, player. You can't do that. Her name would be Mahalia. <laughs> I'm back, still big as shit. I can't call that, that weak a, sauce. That shit ain't weak sauce. That shit I know, but I thought you were going to say it anyway. Nah, that shit ain't weak sauce. You're a hater, bro. I'm not a hater. That, that's impressive. I mean, when you get to the NFL, do whatever you want to do. Let me get to that. Oh, shit. Wait, what the fuck? Nigga, you push that shit. This the Waffle House in Atlanta? No, it's the Waffle House in there. What are they throwing? Wait. For what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh! She just dropped him with a plate! <laughs> oh shit! Yo, those people got good hands. Why is she in there by herself? Why is she all that? She blew it up. She got fed up. She tried to come up with one of What the fuck? Oh, that's when you lose kids. At the end of the day, I don't eat at the Waffle House anyway, because they cook pork and, and chicken on the same grill. I don't like the Waffle House. Yeah, I don't it's think it's good. I'm going to tell you what I did eat from the Waffle House that was I ate in Atlanta. I ate like a uh, Philly cheesesteak waffle sandwich. No, French toast sandwich. It was like Philly cheesesteak? It was like Texas toast and Philly cheesesteak. I ate it for breakfast one day when I got off the plane. It was excellent with an army party. No, what an Arnie Palmer. Yeah, what an Arnie Palmer. What an Arnie Palmer. Oh, the half. Yeah. See, half of me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That was good shit. Yeah. I guess, word to the wise, stay out the Waffle House. Word to the wise, stop fucking rat. That's number one. Another word to the wise. If the bitch smell like bath and body cranberry lotion, she's probably underage. Get the fuck away from her. Number three. If you go in the washi wash and you got meat meals with you, <laughs> there's a good chance that there's human trafficking going on. Hold on, wait a minute. Keep meat meals out the washi wash. <laughs> Third, if you're gonna pay somebody to fuck you up for publicity, make sure you delete the text for Cop and Molly. And then get rid of the evidence. And they're not black. And you don't write a check. The yeah, you pay in cash. <laughs> what the hell you look like? You go to the connect like y'all need three bricks and you write them a check for thirty thousand. What the fuck, pussy? What's wrong with you? Man, thanks for joining us this week. Yeah, on so unprofessional. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I have my good friend here, the Takashi Catcher. It's to protect us from the rats. You protect us from Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> Go hunt, go hunt. Go, go find Takashi. Yo, make sure y'all check us out, man. On all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. So a professional show. That's right. Shout out to the Brown Girl. Shout out to TK. You know what I mean? Mr. Team, man. We got to get together soon, man. Shout out Headquarters Media. Mm -hmm. um, for for all your video needs. That's it, man. Good, 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 good work hooking us up with that whiskey. That whiskey was on point. I uh, you like it. You just lying to the people. Yo, P, yo, why do you invite this nigga over here? Yo, man, peace. <laughs>